Good morning, welcome back to Dumb Money. We are in Austin, Texas. So many great companies to meet with, we decided to extend it to another episode. So let's get started. Can't really call yourself a vlog without some coffee b-roll, right? We just confirmed meetings with several very interesting companies. Plus, at the end of today's episode, we're going to show you the very first look at the Defense Innovation Center at the Capital Factory here in Austin, Texas. We have an hour before our meeting starts, so we're gonna hit up some Austin sneaker shops, which is my favorite thing to do on vacation. Well known fact, I'm a big, big sneaker head. I generally wear Air Force Ones, but I've never seen a sneaker vending machine. So, let's go for it. Only in Austin. Oh, no, I have time. BT21 is, yeah. is like a crowdsourced cast of characters uh, from Korea. Oh. This is Chimmy. My dog's name is Chimmy. So yeah, this man right here is the first person to come in here and know what uh, BT21 is, bro. It's pretty cool. I, I know all about subculture. <laughs> Alright, so social media week. Stumbled in on. We're not one to uh, pass up a happy hour. Social Media Week is a global conference uh, that we brought to Austin. Who's your favorite startup at the conference? Oh, Lord. Uh, proof? You know Proof? No. Can okay. you introduce us? Yeah. All right. Um, Always looking for opportunities. Doesn't matter where we are. Nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Dave. We're with Dumb Money. All right, so we're startup investors. Only six months ago that I moved here to Austin, the company is called Proof. Have you ever been to Booking.com and seen that somebody just booked a hotel room? Yes. So we bring that same concept of social proof, this validation of our action, to every website on the internet. Even Oprah Winfrey uses our product to show when somebody meditates with her in real time. Uh, so we just did a seed round after Y Combinator, and then uh, now we are looking at uh, doing a Series A at the end of this year. Peach jalapeno con candy, fantastic. Doesn't matter where we are, always looking for opportunities, and I think we may have found another company to invest in. We're gonna meet with them. We found a Y Combinator company at a random social media week. That we weren't invited to. No, we just we just crashed the party. All right, how do we get out of here? No, but but here's, here's the other thing. It's now 6.23 p.m., and I've only had coffee and beer. We need dinner, and there's only one dinner that we'll do. Barbecue. Salt Lake. That's Salt barbecue. Lake Barbecue. Yeah. We've made it. After the longest drive in history, we are now at the legendary Salt Lake Barbecue. Jordan is not happy. This is ridiculous. Because he doesn't know what he's in for. He's, he's never, never, he's been, never here. been here. All right. This was such a long day, and I'm so happy that we finally got our barbecue. Likely AI could be, I'm gonna say it right here today. I don't know for sure. This has potential to be the biggest company we've ever, the new biggest company we've ever invested in, right? They essentially leverage artificial intelligence to generate leads for the mortgage industry and real estate agents. Basically, they are able to tell who likely buyers are in real estate. Uh, so today, uh, real estate investment companies, mortgage-backed lenders, they spend $31 billion a year to generate really bad leads. So we have built something that we call likely sellers that uses over four terabytes of data to predict who is going, who has an intent 
to sell their homes within the next 90 days. In my experience in this industry, there's a lot of really wealthy guys with big houses in South Florida that make a ton of money in mortgage leads, at least back in the day. Um, it's a shady industry. A lot of people are trying to knock each other off. Like, like what's the competition like today? Is it still that cutthroat? And if so, how are you gonna compete? They're, they're rebranded automated marketing platforms, right? And so now, like, oh yeah, we're AI because it's a buzz term. And what they really have is something that has a nine to 12 month prediction on it that they can't even quantify the, the precision or the recall, right? And that's really what the state of AI marketing is in real estate right now. I think it's odd, it's like an old school like market where you're like giving people up sheets to go call like these cold leads and stuff like that. It just that part seems odd to me, but I guess it's just how that Let industry me tell you works. Something. It's an old school industry, but right. this is the but company like, modernizing it, and yeah. we love modernizing right. broken industries. This company has potential, I think, to do 10 to 20 million dollars next year, and it's doing nothing today. But what other companies? We met with a lot of them. VR, storytelling. Ether. Ether. Yeah. Those guys were wild. This, so this company was founded by the actor Ty Sheridan, who was in uh, Ready Player One, a bunch of other movies. They have a, a lot of stuff that they're not ready to talk about yet, so we didn't actually even film that one, right, but right. You're, you're, I'm, you're, you're, you're I'm under, really excited about you're, you're it. You're underplaying it. We couldn't film it because they are working on something that I hope they can announce soon, and, and we'll have them on the show when they can. That could be... I'm gonna say one of the biggest things to happen to the media world. It could be the most interesting thing to happen to television and media and film in 20 years. Normally we have people on the show and then we vet the investments and then we make the investments. We might end up investing in these guys before they're on the show. We might do it backwards this time, but it's worthwhile, right? The most, uh, the most <laughs> random dating app. The most random company, the dating app. That's not really a dating app, but it's a dating app. And we would have never set out to meet with a dating app because there's so many just failed dating apps. Time I met my girlfriend on a dating app. No. But do you know how many, like, how hard it was to even find people who were willing to go out? All right, so we were not expecting, we didn't have on our schedule to meet with a dating app on this trip. Not at all. What, what additional variation to swiping can you come up with? We took a look at dating apps and we tried to identify what the problems were and as a uh, single at the time, uh, 28 year old, I decided that it was frustrating to chat with tons of different people and meet up with so few of them. So sort of like the popular HQ trivia, every single person comes online at 3 p.m. sharp for six minutes. At the end of the six minutes, you've gone through 15 people and you get one match if applicable. And after you get that one match, we help you find place and time as well to go based on your inputs prior. Yeah. And you're either going that night or, or the, the next, next day. Night. So it's very quick. So you could have a date for 7 p.m. that evening. Yeah. Uh, the goal is to get you in front of as many people as possible. So we Great. saw that one in three of our uh, matches went and met, okay. which is compared to four in 100 for the competing apps. Yeah. Really impressed. Um, looking forward to watching your launch in New York. If, if, they, if they start to accelerate, I, I want to re readdress that one. It, it, it's cool. I, I hope he makes it. Highlight of the day? Oh, the, the, the Defense Innovation Lab. This is the brand new world, de world debut, right? Yeah, well, well, we also get to see robots again. More robots. More robots. Love robots. It all came together, didn't it? Yeah, you did. You saw that. He actually. He actually pulled actually it off. Actually pulled it off. 24 it's a dream hours. Team. A dream team. just missed my opportunity to have a Texas beer with the senator. This is the biggest thing that happened to Austin in a long time. And, and this is perfect timing for us because those companies now are all coming to Austin to develop cutting edge tech for the defense industry. They push them to cutting edge tech and then they have applications outside of the defense industry that are way easier than what the defense industry is pushing for, right? Thanks so much for watching We're Dumb Money. Subscribe, we would love to have you around. Goodbye Austin, we'll be back. Hit the bell. Or don't, I don't know. Keep those comments, comments flowing. Love comments. Nap time. Party time. Party time. Let's, Let's do this.